Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mudflap um, with another video about some tips and tricks in Coup. We're jumping right in here uh, to this game. Luis Arturo is trying to tax. I don't have any reason to doubt that and I'm running out of time, so I'm going to allow it. Let's get a look at our competition here. Uh, Luis Arturo, level 3. I go by reputation in judging a player's ability 640 that's very low so he's kind of beginner level uh Levon 44,000 that's a very experienced player so we've got a beginner very experienced player this is me Mudflap I'm a level 7 5500 even right now uh I'm going to lay low here and just take one even though I could draw tax. Uh, beginner players like Luis, you know, ones and twos and even some threes, they are unpredictable. They bluff at odd times, they win games they shouldn't, they challenge at odd times, and they lose games that they shouldn't lose. So you've got to be conservative when they are around um, and kind of let them beat themselves. I've said this before and I'll say it again, you are not going to win every game in coup. It just is not possible. It's a game of luck. Uh, de depends on the hand you get. Sometimes you get great hands and sometimes you get lousy hands. So you're not going to win every game. I was worried for a minute there that Luis might be booted when your clock runs out and you're kicked out. I hate when that happens. It throws the balance off of games. Even when you win that way, uh, it, it's frustrating. It's an unfortunate consequence of playing online. Okay, unpredictable. I'm not sure why uh, Louis, would, Louis would attempt an assassination on Levon rather than me. I have more coins, but he's going for it. Okay, Levon is claiming to have a Contessa. The worst bluff in the game, in my opinion, is lying about having a Contessa. If you don't have a Contessa, don't lie and say that you do. You are almost always challenged on it, like he was there, uh, and had he been lying, well, things would have turned out differently. Okay, now I've got to shift gears a little bit from being passive to being a little more aggressive. So, I'm going to use my Duke here. And there's nothing like kicking a guy while he's down. It might have been a good idea to assassinate Levon and see if he got that... Um, Contessa back. Okay, Levon is attempting a steal. Mm, yeah, I, I'm going to allow that. My favorite pair of cards is a Captain and a Contessa. It's a great defensive hand and it also, through the Captain, allows you to be a little aggressive at times. I'm wondering if that's what Levon has or had when he made his exchange a uh, Contessa. There used to be a Contessa there and a Duke. So, or I'm sorry, a Captain. So it's it's plausible. It's believable. It's possible. I'm going to let him run with it and we will see what happens here. Let's see what our friend Luis Arturo does. He's he's stealing from me. All right. When it rains, it pours. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna tax. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is I'm thinking Levon's gonna steal from me again, and Luis is also. So I'm giving money to Levon, but I'm also feeding Luis, and Luis right now. He's going to want to get revenge on Levon, which is all right with me. 
It's always a good thing when you can let other players do your work for you. What does that mean? Well, if they're killing somebody other than you, that's a good thing. Just like I thought, Luis is going to steal from me again. I will tax again. Give him the money he needs. I'll be up to four. Levon will steal from me. Luis will steal from me. He'll come back to me again. I will tax. Levon will kill Luis before Luis can kill Levon. Again with the steal. Again with again with the steel. I'll tax again. I would be shocked if Levon coos me. I'm thinking he's gonna go after Luis. Because Luis is Almost certainly going to want to. Yeah. Okay, now's my chance. When the game's down to four cards, it's kind of a critical, critical juncture, critical time. It's also obviously critical because we're down to two, but um, there's a lot of patterns in this game, and one of them is this four card pattern. You've got to be. On this turn, you, you've got to get it right. You've got to do the right thing. And I'm trying to think what that is in this instance. Pretty sure he has a captain. He might have a Contessa. If I tax, I get up to six. Uh, he steals from me. He's at three. I'm at four. I you're only you gain one and they gain two every time so I would be at four he'd be at three five he'd be at five six he'd be at seven yeah the the odds it, it doesn't work out he would beat me that way so I can't win playing it that way um, got to assassinate and hope that he was not lucky enough to draw the Contessa again. This is the only way I can win. I could lie about having a card. Oh man, and he took the uh, he took it. That's it. Game over. Um, yeah. This is the, the worst bluff in the game, the lamest bluff in the game. I have never, ever seen anybody... Actually, I saw it once, and it just blew me away. Uh, challenge the assassin, and then block with the Contessa, and actually have the Contessa. Uh, in fact, I kind of want to see what he did there. He just, I think he just resigned. Or he accepted, he accepted the assassination. Yeah. So... There you go. Thank you for watching. Uh, every game plays differently. That was kind of a wild ending there. There's an element of luck. Um, the best you can do is know when to kind of take that gamble with luck, to accept that luck. And in this case, I decided, you know, when, when we were down to those four cards, that that was my best option, is to put my fate in the hands of luck. Worked out this time. Yeah. It was a good thing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and uh, share, and subscribe for more great videos just like this one. I look forward to playing you in coup. Friend me, and let's make it happen. Good luck out there. Thank you for watching.